Sometimes people have formed preconceived notions about male and female Pomeranians. I was one of them. Both male and female Pomeranians make great pets, but there are slight differences that you can expect between the genders to consider when determining which is the perfect fit for your family. In this video, I dig into everything you should know about male and female Pomeranians. You do have to keep in mind that these traits are just a general consensus. Each and every Pomeranian is completely unique and may be drastically different when compared with the average Pomeranian. At the end of this video, you will learn the best secret for how to choose the right dog for you. First off, let's talk about an obvious difference that you will often be noticed right away. Male and female Pomeranian size. Female Pomeranians tend to be smaller than males. The breed standard for Pomeranians is 3 to 7 pounds and 8 to 11 inches tall. That said, many Pomeranians can be larger than the standard size. Our female Pomeranian is 6 pounds but is a bit overweight for her stature. Her ideal weight is around 5 pounds. My family has been sneaking her way too many treats. Our female is extremely prone to weight gain, whereas our males will often be slim. Our male Pomeranians are much larger in stature and weigh between 8 and 10 pounds. Although it is more common for female Pomeranians to be smaller in stature, it is dependent on each dog's genetics. It's important to speak with your breeder about the size of your puppy's parents to give you a really good idea of what you can expect. Don't be surprised if the female in the breeding pair happens to be larger than the male. This match is very common because female Pomeranians have a difficult time with pregnancy and delivery. A larger sized female often allows for a healthier pregnancy. To match the larger sized female, the man tends to be petite to balance out the overall size. The next difference between male and female Pomeranians isn't all obvious, but is often true. Female Pomeranians mature faster than males. So what does that mean for a female Pomeranian to mature faster than its male counterpart? Since a female Pomeranian often matures faster than males, they're actually easier to potty train, in addition to general obedience training. Young male Pomeranians are often easily distracted, which can make the training process last longer. I've actually experienced this with our male and female Pomeranians. As far as house training goes, our female was house trained a lot faster in comparison to our male and they took a quite a bit longer to be completely house trained. Murphy was our hardest to house train, but he was on his own when it became to potty training, whereas the other two Pomeranians had role models. The next difference we should talk about will vary from dog to dog, but it's the personality traits that you can expect with a female versus a male Pomeranian. Female Pomeranian personalities. In the wild, it's the females that rule the packs. Females determine the pecking order, keeping the peace and provide for the pack. This natural behavior does extend into our domesticated dogs. Female Pomeranians are independent, territorial, stubborn, moody, and sassy. Our female Pomeranian is full of independent sass. She lets you know just what you want something and can be pretty forceful about it. She'll bark at you or jump up and grab onto your clothing just to get your attention. Male Pomeranian Personalities Male Pomeranians have a very similar temperament to females, but there are some differences. Male Pomeranians are more affectionate, demanding of your attention, territorial, and playful. Our male Pomeranians are a lot more clingy and love to get attention. They are goofy and almost doofus-like, but they're also very intelligent. They love to play and often enjoy bouts of the zoomies, but want a nice cuddle at the end of the day. Both males will gladly stay in your arms and be carried around all day. So who is more cuddly, male or female Pomeranians? This may not always be the case, but from our experience, male Pomeranians are usually more cuddly compared to female Pomeranians. This is absolutely the case in our house. Our male Pomeranians are extremely cuddly, especially Murphy, with our female only cuddling on her terms. In the evenings, it's cuddle time with Murphy. When he is ready, he will grab one of his favorite stuffed toys and follow me 
me around the house with it in his mouth. He wants to let me know that it is time to sit on the couch and cuddle. The next difference may not come as a surprise to you, but male Pomeranians are more likely to mark their territory. Male Pomeranians can mark their territory if they have not been neutered. Once a male Pomeranian has been neutered, it should stop marking behaviors and prevent the future marking. Male Pomeranians should be neutered when they're between four and six months of age. That said, territory marking is not strictly a male behavior. Females will sometimes urinate and mark their territory just like a male. Territorial marking is a natural instinct for dogs when there are other dogs nearby. It's not as common behavior for females, but it can be reduced or eliminated by having your female spayed. Female Pomeranians should be spayed when they are five to nine months of age before they enter into their first heat cycle. Marking should not be an issue for either gender as long as you get your dog spayed or neutered before any of the negative behaviors start. From my experience, males do enjoy smelling the scent of other dogs while on walks and in dog parks and adding their little mark to the site. Are female or male Pomeranians more protective? It is said that female Pomeranians are more protective than males. Females are often more territorial, independent, and protective. I have seen this behavior in our dogs. Our female is extremely protective to the point where she could get herself into trouble with a much larger dog. That said, our male Pomeranian Murphy is a natural guard dog and will bark at anything out of the norm, regardless whether it's a threat or not. As a breed, Pomeranians think they are much larger than they actually are and become extremely attached to their owner. This combination can set you up for a very protective dog. Are male or female Pomeranians more healthy? Male and female Pomeranians are both generally healthy dogs. There are a handful of common health issues that can affect both genders, collapsed tracheas, luxating patellas, and eye problems. Females are vulnerable to breast cancer and uterine cancer. The risk of uterine cancer can be eliminated by having your female spayed. Males are vulnerable to prostate and testicular cancers. Luckily, these risks can be reduced by having your male Pomeranian and neutered. So who is more fluffy, male or female Pomeranians? Overall, both male and female Pomeranians are equally as fluffy. If a female Pomeranian has gone through a recent heat cycle or has weaned a litter of puppies, she will experience hormonal shedding. The fluffiness of a Pomeranian is based on its genetics. Some Pomeranians have thicker undercoats which can give them a fluffier overall appearance. So are female Pomeranians more expensive? Female Pomeranians are in higher demand compared to male Pomeranians and usually will cost more. You can expect to pay anywhere between $1,200 and $6,000 for a Pomeranian puppy. A female puppy can be $200 to $600 more than a male. Due to the higher demand for female Pomeranians, females are also harder to find. Due to the small litter size, it can be difficult to find a Pomeranian breeder that is in your area. Area. Are male or female Pomeranians better with kids? Both male and female Pomeranians are good with kids. I wouldn't say that one gender is better than the other. There are differences though that we should consider when choosing a dog that will be in the same home as children. Males are more cuddly and more likely to enjoy being picked up. Females are more independent. Males are more playful and interactive with toys, but males can be energetic and a play session could get rough. The environment for dogs will drastically depend on the age and maturity of your children. Pomeranians are sometimes not the best fit in a home with very young children. Due to the Pomeranians being petite in size, it may easily get injured by a young child that is too rough or accidentally steps on it. You will be the best judge of your personal family situation for determining if a Pomeranian is the right fit. You do need to remember that these traits are just an overall consensus with each and every dog being uniquely different. So how do you make sure you get the right Pomeranian for your family? First decide what traits are most important for your family and list those out. This will help you find the right puppy. The next best thing to do is talk to potential breeders about the temperament and individual traits of the puppies and parents and what their past litters have been like. I will link a blog post down below on how to locate a great breeder. You do need to keep in mind that Pomeranians are in high demand and have very small litters of only one to three puppies. You may not end up having a choice between a male or a female. Even if you do have the option to choose, you may just fall in love with a puppy 
somebody of the opposite gender or have one fall in love with you. Regardless, you can't go wrong with either a male or a female Pomeranian. You can't go wrong with either. Honestly, having a Pomeranian is sure to add so much joy to your life. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hug your palm. I'll see you in my next video.